All right, guys. Gonna make a video for Rich K6827. I hope I got that right. Rich K6827. And he, he has a craftsman, he found the ball bearing and cut a spring down and he was asking me about my tools that I use to put the springs in. And these are uh, three and five eighths metal studs. I do steel stud construction. I do, uh, or one of my jobs anyways. And uh, fire rated, you use fire, you use steel studs when you do fire rated buildings. Federal, county, state, they're all fire rated. Anyways, uh, I just took an edge of it and made it, but I had a YouTube or I had a subscriber tell me about bobby pin. Well, and I cannot remember. I hope you're watching the video so I can give you a shout out, but I cannot remember. I can't find the comment that you left me. Use a bobby pin, and I'll, I'm going to try it. I think it'll work. I can't see why it wouldn't work. Anyways, I'm going to take this apart just to try it so I can show Rich uh, maybe a better way of doing it. I use the little screwdriver. I'm so used to using this, but I have lost at least five ball bearings in my shop. Can't find them. And of course, my wife, she vacuums my shop every once in a while, and they're probably inside the vacuum. Anyways, what I'm going to do before I start is I'm going to bend this. I think this will work. I don't see why it wouldn't. I stole this from my wife. She'll probably be pissed off if she knows I stole a bobby pin from her. But anyways, she doesn't use them anyways. Let's, take, let's open this up real quick. Let's see, maybe get a little close up here. Is that better? Ball bearings right there. Yeah, it didn't pop out. So that's good. Let's get the ball bearing. There it is. There's up. Oh. All right. Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna dab of grease on the end of it. stuck to the magnet screwdriver. Let's see if I can put that on the spring. Well, there it goes. I am not left-handed, ladies and gentlemen, so Awesome. That works great. I like it. I like it. God, I wish I could get... I hope whoever, if you're watching this video, leave me a comment. I have to give you a shout out. That works great. The bobby pin works awesome. And it slides right out. Just like that. Ball bearings in there. Shit, left and right. Left and right. That is awesome. Let's do it again. I'm going to try it one more time so you can see I'm not giving you guys a crock of something here. Pull back out. Let's pull that bearing off of there. Ugh, fiber off the end of the screwdriver. Hang on, let me see if there's enough grease here. Nah, I might put a little more grease on the bobby pin here. This time I'm gonna do it with my right hand and do it with my finger. Works perfectly. That is awesome. That is awesome. And remember when you put in the gear, this is this one's one I rebuilt a while back. 
uh, let me put this down, uh, so I don't have to really grease anything, it's greased. Just set it at about center, see where the high point is on the bearing, and then drop your gear in there and it just drops in, locks in. Now, put this on top, and then put my clip on top of that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to publish this tonight so Rich can see. That is a cool idea, I like that. Oh. Boy, this spring is tight. Holy smokes. Might have to get a stronger pair of snap ring pliers. Jamming it. There it goes, almost. Oh. Popped in there. That's center. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, bobby pin works. There you go, Rich. Check that out. Little hairpin. Bobby Pin, what do you want to call it? Works great. And I'm, I hope whoever told me this sends me a comment because I want to give you a shout out. That works excellent. It is excellent. I learned from you guys. Uh, the guys that comment, I really appreciate it. This is cool. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, if I don't answer your comments for two or three days, just understand I work a lot. I'm working 14, 15 hour days and some days I don't touch the computer. I just don't bother with it. I'd rather eat, sleep, and clean up, okay? So, uh, yeah, some days I just don't get to the computer. It's just one of those things I don't have time. But I got to do a job this afternoon before tornadoes hit. They're expecting bad, severe weather today, so newsmen have got everybody in an uproar the world's gonna to come to an end i guess we're gonna have all kinds of storms i wish people would realize you're born to die what's the big deal come close to death a dozen times it's easy to die living's a hard part anyways bobby pin works excellent in these ratchets and these ratchets if you guys i know some of you don't like craftsmen but Back in the day, Craftsman was made, Craftsman never made tools. They were all made contract. So, Snap-on made them. Proto made them. Western Forge made them. More manufacturing, everybody made tools for Craftsman. So, they gave them specifications and they designed and built them to the specs. I do agree that some of them had a little slop in them, a little more play than others, but they're still good quality. Uh, at least a lot of these older ones were made with American steel, not foreign steel. That's another thing. Those of you that, that love American made, it's all fine and good. Start checking into your American made and see where the steel came from. You might be a little surprised. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Rich. There you go. I hope you like it. Rich K6827. This works great. It actually, actually good. I'm, I'm going to try to post this tonight for you. Uh, I'll get back from doing a job and uh, I'll get this on there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. Y'all have a good day.